Well, I always say you should never go near a religious topic on radio, but what the hell, we went there this morning when we talked about how a North Coast woman in New South Wales withdrew her child from her local state school because the local community had agreed that at, at that state school the kids would be allowed to um, say a prayer before school began. Now, this is a very different rule in New South Wales to what they have in Victoria and some other states where basically any uh, religious practice is forbidden in a government school. Here in New South Wales, it's OK to have a prayer or have some sort of religious instruction as long as the local community and the parents' um, council is consulted. Um, the woman on the, on the north coast was so angry over the fact that she was sending her child to a government school that she withdrew her. She's placed her into another state school where there is no religious instruction and definitely no prayers. I mean, some state schools around New South Wales often transfer it around. So they'll have a Christian prayer one day, they'll do a Hindu prayer or even a Muslim prayer on another day. But it does seem to be an anachronism. If you have a look at this, the Bureau of Census records, back in 2011, the last big census that we had here in Australia, about one in five Australians nominated as no religion there when it came to their faith. And that number in the next census, in a couple of years' time, is, is expected to see the majority of Australians not having any religious affiliation whatsoever. Now this is a long way from where we were in the 60s and 50s when Australia was very much a Christian society based on Christian values. No one is saying that we don't want the values that go with that but these are government schools, we live in a secular society and surely uh, religious instruction and a prayer at the start of school is going the same way as blackboards and dusters and badly dressed teachers for that matter and amen to that.